Hi everyone, welcome to Ferdowsi TV. Uh, we're here at the Afghanistan and Central Asian Association and we're here with Darius Nasimi, who's the founder of the Institute for Central Asian Studies. Hi Darius. Hello. <laughs> nice to have you. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, what prompted you to found, uh, to create the Institute? What were the aims of it? The main aim of the Institute for Central Asian Studies is to focus on the issues faced by Central Asian people, mm -hmm. provide a platform um, for students studying different things, mm -hmm. to attend our events, where we can organize events, invite speakers from different fields and sectors to speak about Central Asia, the economy, the political situation, human rights, uh, democracy, but also where we can start influencing policies yeah. back home. We can be a platform to influence decision makers to mm -hmm. tell them these are some of the perspectives of people from Central Asia about how they want their future to be. Yeah. And so far it's been quite successful. So how was the institute received by the student community? Mm -hmm. What were some of the events? The society has so far been very popular at King's College. Each of our events has had over 250 mm. participants. And interestingly, the people attending the events are not just from Central Asia. Yeah. The majority of the attendees are actually outside of Central Asia, mm -hmm. people from all over the world interested in that, in that region and studying Central Asia as one of their topics in mm. politics or human rights or security or international development. So it's become very... Uh, we're, we're in a strong position at King's College compared to other societies. And the events that we've organised have also increased up our popularity hugely. The first event was the launch ceremony of the Institute, mm -hmm. which was attended by the British ambassador in Kazakhstan, the Kazakhstani ambassador to the UK, the Uzbek ambassador to the UK, but also members of parliament and the British House of Lords. And that provided an introductory um, event to introduce the society to people, mm -hmm. to improve their understanding about what we do. The second event was a large conference about the new Silk Road, which is a big trade plan for Central Asia. We had the US emb embassy, the Chinese embassy, and embassies of Central Asian yeah. countries, but also think tanks mm -hmm. this time. People like Chatham House, RUSI, Institute for Strategic Dialogue, they played a very important role in coordinating and, um, and being present, speaking at the conference. So it was very successful. And if you see the pictures on our Facebook page, over 300 people attended people were actually because there were there weren't enough uh, there wasn't enough space for people to sit down but people were so interested there was a queue outside the room waiting um, to watching the conference from outside the main yeah. hall, the great hall at King's College so it was very popular mm. um, tell us about the work you do here at the Afghanistan and Central Asian Association what are some of the services that you provide to people mm -hmm. The main aim of the Afghanistan and Central Asian Association is to promote the integration of refugees mm -hmm. from Afghanistan and Central Asia into British society. We do that through a range of different activities and services, um, including English classes for adults in six boroughs across London, Hounslow, Ealing, Greenwich, Lewisham and Croydon. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we offer a supplementary Saturday school for children to help them with their school subjects and improve their school grades. We have a free legal advice clinic that helps um, refugees and members of the community by providing free legal advice in partnership with pro bono solicitors on immigration, housing and family and various other issues. We have a employability project mm -hmm. that helps improve the employability skills of refugees by helping them write a CV for themselves, helping them with writing a cover letter interviewing skills but also searching for a job so that they can become employed in the UK. There's also a very important side around improving community cohesion mm -hmm. so we organize cultural events and festivals across the year. Our recent festival at Lambton Park in Hounslow was very successful, the Refugee Week Summer Festival. We had over 4,000 participants mm. um, f across the UK attending yeah. the festival so that created a good chance for people to make friends and meet each other, but also people from different faiths and religions to, mm. to improve their knowledge of each other. How do you measure success? Because uh, social cohesion, community cohesion, social integration, they're quite, quite intangible subjects. How do you measure the success of this organisation? 
-hmm. Is it by numbers? Is it, do you have targets? How is it measured? Yeah, so for each of our services, there are specific targets mm -hmm. and objectives that we meet and the success is measured through those. Mm -hmm. So for example, with a project that's focusing on cohesion and integration, building confidence, building self-esteem, the number of people reporting improved mental health, mm -hmm. the number of people impro uh, reporting improved skills, interpersonal skills, understanding of UK system and culture. For projects that are focused on classes, then it's more about what they achieve throughout the class mm -hmm. and the changes that they see in themselves and also in their lives as a result of coming to this organization. So improved English language skills, yeah. improved employability skills, mm -hmm. employment is a very important area, but also for in the case of legal clinic, uh, the number of cases that we solve successfully yeah. and the number of people who use the charity's services throughout the year. Yeah. That's, um, we currently we support over 6,000 um, refugees mm -hmm. annually. Annually, yeah. Thank you, Darius. It was very interesting. Is there anything last that you want to share with the viewers? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much as well for uh, asking me questions and for allowing me the chance to answer some of the questions that you prepared. I think the message that I have for the people of Afghanistan living in the UK is, uh, first of all, I would like to invite them to come to this new premises that we have in Hounslow, to come and view the, the facilities that we have and the activities that we're running. We're very open to new suggestions, mm -hmm. new plans, new ideas for how we can uh, shape new projects and new activities for the people in the UK and to help people inside the country. So the first thing I would like to say is please visit our new premises. We have a very nice space to organize new and different activities based on your needs and based on your suggestions and recommendations for how the space should be used. We want you to feel that this space is run by the community and it's led by how you feel it should be led. And the second thing is, uh, this is, I just want to emphasize that this, um, the, Afga the ACA, the Afghanistan Central Asian Association, the com new community building that we have, it's a great asset for our people to improve their integration, improve their citizenship. And from here, to change a lot of the things that's happening, that's facing our people in the UK and in Afghanistan. Creating a new strategy for the future, creating proposals, and attracting new people, new partners, making new friends, and finding the right people who can help us move forward. So thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you in the very near future. Thank you, Darius. And stay tuned for more videos. And don't forget to subscribe and like.